Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft PowerPoint. In this module, I want to show you how you can put images into a graph. So first of all, let me get a chart on the screen. So insert chart, just going to pick the default one. And I'm just going to put a little bit of data in because I want to just show you how you can use the stack and scale feature as well. So the source data there. So I'll just change these labels slightly quickly. So men, women, oops, and children or child. I'll just put child. And then I'll go 20, 20, 20, 21, 20, 22, and 20, 23. So that's my data. Let me just change some of these figures. So like I've got some bigger figures. So 5,000, as I do that, the chart will automatically react underneath. You can see that. So if I just bang some data in, so we've got some larger numbers and then you can see how this will work. It's a bit more easy, easier to see than really small numbers. And then children can have the same sort of numbers. So all the bars are quite large. That's all I want for that. Um, close this down. Now, I don't need a chart title for what I'm going to tell you about. Now, I want to put a chart in the back of this. Now, you've got some pre-formatted things at the top here that you can select. But I want to put a image, an image, in the background there. So let's just drop that straight in, that fella. Um, I don't really want him. That's come from um, stock images. But I'll just show you where I got that from. You've got all these stock images, they're just free to use. I'll just click on something that's slightly different to that. So that'll just come in there and that's the background of the chart. Now it's sort of taking over the, the chart a little bit. You can't see the data that you, and that's the main thing. So what you have to do usually is just pull this transparency across to the right. So fade that out a bit. I could also, I've got the font code up there, make that a bit bigger or bolder, should I say do control B to make it bold so it just stands out a little bit better so that's how you can insert but you've also got an option there for clipboard if I click click on that that's what's in the clipboard insert stock images back to stock images I'll pick that one insert and then that one go that will go in the back so on this second slide I've got some images so if I copy that copy and then drop it onto this now it will let me paste it inside a bar so i'll control v i can paste that in there it's all stretched i'll talk about that in a second i'll undo that but when i go to paste it on the chart area it sort of sits on top of it you know you can get that sitting on top of this like so and obviously that's not great but what you can do is make this transparent. If I go on the picture format and hit transparency and just pick one of these ones, you can start seeing seeing the picture behind as well. So I'm not saying that's a great thing to do. You've got two pictures going off there. I probably wouldn't have it sitting like this because it's not part of the chart. So I'll just delete that one off. But what you can do is you can drop that image in to one of these bars that's representing the data series. Now, if I undo that for a second and get a more suitable picture to come in. So I'm just going to click off the slide a second. Insert picture. Uh, stock images again. I'll just use these, but obviously you can get whatever you want. I'll go for icons. I want a little icon to sit in there. Um, let's go for this little spider. Insert. So that'll just drop in as a normal image on your slide. If I can capture it it's just gone to the back of my thing just move that off pick him up I'm copying it so it's now in the clipboard just move him over there out of the way bring my little chart back on what I can do now is click into this bar and paste him in there stretched but what you do now is you go over to this side so it's the format data series now if this is not there I'll close that for a second Whenever you click on a chart, 
you'll get the format for that. So for example, it's not there at the moment. I have got the options at the top, chart design and chart format, but I like to point to what I want to do. So if I want to format this, where I've got this spider, if I double click on it, it will bring up format data point. So I've actually isolated that single one. But if I click off it again and just click on it, once this is displayed, wherever you click, like plot area, that's what you will format. If I click on these figures, you, you format in the axes and then the legend at the bottom there. So I'm clicking on this one, I'm for, formatting this data series. Now, what I need to do is get onto the paint pot. I'm not gonna fade this out because it's fairly see-through anyhow. So I'll just leave it fully over. This is what I want now, stack and scale. And then for every 1000 in that table that I typed, if I press enter now, that should give me a, a spider. So I've, I've stacked that in. So almost any image you can bring in, you can either put it into the background or you can put it into the actual series. So if I go a long way around again and go and get a picture, that's going to put, as soon as I insert, that's going to put the picture um, that I last had in there. You can just about see it there. I'm going to go online this time and just search for something else. I'll just search for, well, an animal will go for that. Um, and these are cute, aren't they? So I'll pick that one, insert, and then that I should put that in there. Now it's remembered the settings from the previous one, which was the spider, um, not the spider, sorry, this, this one that was in there before. The transparency was way across, so I'll bring that over and I'll stack and scale it again to be 1000 for this one. Press enter and I get a picture of that animal, whatever that was, like so. Now I don't particularly like this background image and I also don't like the plot area being tight to the chart area like it is at the moment. So I'm just going to try and adjust that if the mouse doesn't stick. So I've clicked off it. There it is. So I need to sit there, make that a little bit smaller so it comes into the middle a little bit better than that. So there's a bit of a delay when I'm doing that. There we go. Got it, I think there. That's it. So I've now got a distinct, a distinctive way to click, place to click. That's the plot area. I could have the background in there and I could have a background there, but that really doesn't make sense. So I'm just going to put a different picture in there. Um, go and insert stock images. And this time I will get myself something to do with snow, maybe. Well, well, I'm tempted, but I'll go for this eagle insert. And then that should go in the background and replace the one that's already there. Anytime soon, there we go. So that again, you've got the option to play around with the transparency. Like so, if you make it coming out a bit more, that's obviously too much. You can go back like so. That's all right. And then last but not least, I'll just copy um, this picture, copy, and use the Control V key command to paste it into each of these so that I need to make sure I'm clicking on the whole series, not just one. Paste it in there. Do um, Go back to the paint pot, do stack and scale. Type your figure in there, whatever your scale is, 1000 I said, press enter, and then we have the same. And if I click on the little plus um, to add data labels, we see the scores on the doors as well. So that's just a, a few little tips, a few different ways that you can format a chart. So the chart is a bit more engaging, making sure the background does fade into a background rather than being prominent, which I probably need to fade that out a little bit more with the transparency bar. But that's all I want to talk about in this little video. Hopefully it's of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one.